Hello everyone, welcome to EduTab and welcome to the session where I will be telling you that how can you cover your ARD subject for NABAD grade examination. See, we have seen that many aspirant has a fear of agriculture subject and that could be like due to reason that they haven't studied this agriculture before or they do not know right strategy to approach the subject or the sources to follow to study the subject right so to clear all these doubt we have come up with this video and through this video i will be telling you that how can you easily prepare your ard for nabad grade examination but before starting my video i have a quick announcement to make that edutap has launched a comprehensive guidebook for nabad aspirants see students this guidebook will be pro this guidebook guidebook will provide you all the information regarding NABAD and NABAD exam if and also this will be containing all the information like syllabus of your NABAD exams and also not only that it will also contain the PYQs okay so that you can get a reference that which type of question are being asked in NABAD examination and not only that it will also provide you the resources for to which you can follow to crack this NABAD grade examination and that too for free yes yes aspirants you can download this guidebook for free and for that you have to go to the description box click on the link register yourself and download this guidebook okay now let's move on to the today's topic that was how to cover your ARD subject for NABAD grade examination now see student first of all I would like to tell you the weightage of the subject in your NABAD grade exam See, your ARD is being asked in your phase 1 as well as in phase 2. In phase 2, if you are applying from the journalist post, okay. So, in phase 1, there are 8 subjects that are being tested by NABAD, okay. And they are reasoning, English, computer, quantitative aptitude, decision making, journal awareness, ESI and ARD, okay. Now, you can see that ARD is there and students in uh, pre Preliminary examination, we have two section that is qualifying and merit section. And out of your merit section, ARD holds a good weightage. See, you can see that in your merit section, GA is ESI and ARD. 40 marks is assigned to ARD. That is 40% of your selection will be decided by agriculture and rural development subject. Which means ARD is important for your pre-exam. Moving on to the mains exam. Okay. Now, if you are applying from the journalist post, so you have to give exam for ESI and ARD in your paper 2. And here also students, the ratio of question being asked from ESI and ARD is 50-50. Which means in mains also, the ARD holds its own weightage. Okay, it has importance in mains exam. Now, that was about the weightage and importance of this ARD subject in your NABAD grade examination. Now, let us talk how to cover this ARD subject, okay, how to study this and from where to study this ARD subject. See, aspirant, your ARD subject can be divided into a static ARD and current ARD. Now, what is the meaning of this static ARD and current ARD? So, basically, static ARD is that portion which is a static in nature, okay, that is not going to change easily. Like, your conceptual agriculture part is a static ARD. Like, for example, soil property is not going to change easily, okay. Crop physiology is not going to change easily. Then, you have all the conceptual part, all the definition that is not going to change easily in agriculture. So, that all comprises, that conceptual note, uh, knowledge comprises of your static ARD. Moving on to the current ARD. So, basically students, all the current development that is happening in agriculture and rural uh, sector, that is your current ARD. Okay, that comprises your uh, current ARD. Be it any scream released, be it any report releasing showing any data or be it any uh, MOU signed or initiative. Okay, so all these things, all such things which is happening for the development of agriculture and rural sector that comprises of your current ARD. Now, I hope this is clear to you what is static ARD and what is current ARD. Now, let us see one by one how can you cover your static ARD first and then we will discuss how can you cover your current ARD, right? So, talking about static ARD, so students for covering your static ARD, you should have a knowledge of syllabus, okay? You should know what is your syllabus and what syllabus is defined, that syllabus which is defined by NABAD for you to cover this agriculture and rural development subject. So, this is the syllabus of 2022 notification. Okay, I have taken this uh, snippet from 2022 as you can see on the screen. So, it comprises of all the important uh, chapter of agriculture. For example, general agriculture. Okay, then we have soil and water conservation, water resources, farm and agriculture engineering. Then we have plantation and horticulture, animal husbandry, fisheries, forestry, 
agriculture extension ecology and climate change now you can see that all the important chapters has been given by the nabard exam nabard to you in the syllabus okay so now this defines now this confines the syllabus confines your area of study okay now you are like ki okay agriculture mein padhna kya hai theek hai agriculture padhte hain par padhna kya hai pata hi nahi hai to kya padhna hai wo kahan se pata chalega that will be answered by your syllabus okay so syllabus se aapki study confined ho gayi okay i have to read this 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 topic this 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 chapter okay now what else you can do you can just refer to pyqs okay students pyqs are previous year questions okay that we have given in our ebook also which you can download from the description box i have as i have already mentioned so pyqs will be helping you in selecting in uh, in filtering out the important topics of agriculture and rural development subject see students see when you are uh, preparing for your uh, competitive exam so your जो पढ़ाई होनी चाहिए आपकी वो एग्जाम ओरिएंटेड होनी चाहिए ओके डोंट गो फॉर थरो स्टडी और डोंट ब्लाइंडली जस्ट फॉलो एनी बुक एंड जस्ट रीड ऑल द कंटेंट दैट इज़ नॉट गोइंग टू हेल्प यू जस्ट मेक योर प्रिपरेशन एग्जाम ओरिएंटेड मोर ओके एंड दैट फॉर दैट यू शुड नो योर सिलेबस एंड यू शुड नो वट काइंड ऑफ क्वेश्चन आर बींग आस्ट एंड विच टॉपिक्स आर इम्पॉर्टेंट ओके नाउ टू हेल्प यू विद दिस वी हैव फिल्टर्ड आउट फ्यू इम्पॉर्टेंट चैप्टर्स फॉर यू and why we are saying that these are important chapter because we have seen that in previous years the questions from these chapters were asked more okay more question number of question asked from these chapters are more as compared to other chapters okay so what are they these are your agronomy farm farming system soil and water conservation plantation and horticulture crop animal husbandry and poultry fisheries and forestry so students see you cannot skip this these chapters we are saying we are emphasizing again and again that these are very important chapters because we have analyzed it we have done the analysis and we have seen that these are the important topics or we important chapters which you should study thoroughly theek hai aapko syllabus mein jo kuch hai wo to padhna hi hai but in topics ko aapko acche se padhna hai because question are generally asked from these topics for example i'll give you the example of one topic that is soil and water conservation and this is these are the question from 2002 uh, 22 okay this was the uh, the four questions four questions from soil and water conservation chapter was asked in your 2022 examination theek hai ab aap ye dekh sakte ho ki ek chapter se agar char question aa rahe hain to that means this chapter holds a some weightage okay is chapter ki importance hai and similarly such patterns in wet pattern was seen in previous years also okay ye 2022 ka hai but 2021 mein bhi acche khase questions the and so on so which means that these are important topics so aspirants i'm just emphasizing here that you have to go you have to read all the syllabus once but you cannot skip these chapters okay these are very important very very important and you have to have to go thorough study for these chapters right so that was about the static part and that was about the syllabus and important topics sorry now moving on to the sources okay ab aapko ye bhi to pata hona chahiye ki aapko padhna kahan se hai theek hai so students see we recommend you few, few sources and you can pick any one of them according to your suitability so for studying general agriculture we recommend you to go for fundamentals of agriculture by arun katyan part 1 and part 2 okay then there is another book of a competitive book of agriculture by neem raj uh, neem raj sunda then there is another book of agriculture at glance by rk sharma now these three books among these three you can just pick one okay you don't have to study all of them you can just pick one according to your suitability according to your own pref preference and just start reading that and you will be done for your general agriculture part now students see there are some allied subject which is uh, uh which are the part of agriculture and they are also important for your exam like animal husbandry agriculture and engineering and fisheries okay you can see that these are also important and questions are asked uh, in the uh, from these chapters also okay as i have defined them also under the important topics now for reading such topic you in this book uh, the data regarding this uh, to, this allied subject is less so what you can do you can just refer to the particular book like for animal life husbandry you can go for a textbook of animal husbandry by gc banerjee okay this is a good book what you can do you can just pick this one for animal husbandry for agriculture engineering you can pick elements of agriculture engineering by jagdeer sahay then for fisheries you can pick handbook of fisheries and aquaculture by icar now student these three books okay i'm 
marking star here these three books are allied subject okay you don't have to cover them end to end ठीक है एंड टू एंड नहीं पढ़ना है इनके बुक्स को वट यू हैव टू डू यू हैव टू रेफर टू द पी वाई क्यूज ओके जस्ट रेफर टू द पी वाई क्यूज एंड मार्क द इम्पॉर्टेंट चैप्टर्स एंड मार्क द इम्पॉर्टेंट टॉपिक्स फ्रॉम दिस बुक एंड जस्ट रीड दैम ओके डोंट रीड द कंप्लीट बुक बिकॉज यू हैव टू यू डोंट हैव टू गिव एग्जामिनेशन फॉर एनिमल हजबेंड्री ओके सो यू हैव टू वट यू हैव टू डू यू हैव टू जस्ट मार्क द इम्पॉर्टेंट चैप्टर्स और टॉपिक्स एंड जस्ट रीड दैट एंड दैट विल बी इनफ प्रिपरेशन फॉर योर ए आर डी स्टैटिक पार्ट ठीक है सो दैट वॉज अबाउट द सोर्सेज ऑफ ए आर डी स्टैटिक नाउ वी हैव द नेक्स्ट पार्ट दैट इज करंट अफेयर ओके वी हैव टॉक अबाउट द ए आर डी स्टैटिक नाउ टॉकिंग अबाउट योर ए आर डी करंट अफेयर नाउ वट ऑल कम्स अंडर करंट अफेयर सो स्टूडेंट्स ऑल योर गवर्नमेंट स्कीम्स ऑल योर रिपोर्ट्स रिलीज ऑल योर ए आर डी रिलेटेड इनिशिएटिव ओके दे आर इम्पॉर्टेंट वाई बिकॉज वी हैव सीन दैट इन प्रीवियस ईयर्स क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम द गवर्नमेंट स्कीम्स रिपोर्ट्स एंड ई आर डी रिलेटेड इनिशिएटिव दे आर ऑफन आस्ट ओके सो स्टूडेंट यू डोंट हैव टू कवर एवरी रिपोर्ट द रिपोर्ट विच आर रेलिवेंट टू योर सिलेबस आर इम्पॉर्टेंट द स्कीम्स विच आर इन विच आर Uh, which are uh, in uh, the schemes which is released for the development of agriculture and rural sector that are important okay so you have to read such kind of schemes okay uh, i will also i will be also discussing one by one that which kind of schemes or which kind of reports uh, or in government initiative you have to read so first take uh, the scheme part okay which scheme to cover so students basically all the newly released schemes you have to cover okay of just past 6 months okay these are important scheme released in past 6 months are very very important you have to have to cover them okay then all the old scheme that are in news due to any region due to any initiative or due to any um re uh, reconsideration of that schemes due to any reason if there is any old scheme which is in the news in recent past you have to read that okay and also the schemes which are mentioned in the latest union budget or economic survey they are also important and you have to read that okay now why we are saying read all these things because we have done the analysis again and we have seen that schemes which are newly released or which are in recent past or which are mentioned in such uh, budgets and economic surveys are often asked in your examination theek okay, hai now you have got the clarity that which kind of schemes you have to read talking about reports now students reports are being released by national and international bodies okay and all of them are important for you but how to select that which is important for my area or this nabad examination so basically student what you have to do you will have to you you have to relate this reports with your uh, with your syllabus if you are seeing that there is a some report released which is uh, for the agriculture uh, sector then that is important for you any re report releasing showing the data of farmers that is important for you theek hai so such reports are important to you now let me tell you in detail that the latest uh, union budget and economic survey report is very important because data from these union budget and economic surveys are directly asked in your question that means the data from these reports are very important to you then data of your census the latest census like li livestock census like handloom census which is latest census so data from that census is also important you have to cover that okay then all the reports that are released by national bodies like niti aayog ministry of health ministry of education okay they are important to you and you have to read all these report you have to have a uh, idea about the data which is being released in these kind of reports then reports released by international bodies like FAO has released some report or WTO has report released some report or world bank has released some report okay for the uh, for agriculture sector so they are also very important for your exam point of view theek hai then latest msp advanced estimate production data are important then indian state uh, forest report is important then nabard annual report and nabard model uh, bankable project report are also important see we are giving the exams of NAB, exam for nabard and nabard is also one of the organization which is working for rural and agriculture development right so all the reports of nabard are also important theek hai so these this was about the reports and kind of reports you have to study for your nabard examination 
now moving on to the next that is initiatives okay that any ard related initiative so students all the mou agreements that are signed by government or any private or between the government or private players that is leading to some development in your agriculture or benefit of farmers they are important for you you have to have the idea about these mous okay or agreements then any summit conference or event that had held for the development of agriculture and rural sector so that are also important for you then any camping portal or app that is being launched that are important for you then government policies and guidelines uh, released are important then any committee is set up by government that is important or any other government initiative that has been taken in the field of agriculture and rural development they all are important so this was about your ard current affair now you have the clarity that what kind of current affair you have to cover okay i have told you about the scheme i have told you about the reports and i have told you about the ard related initiative theek hai now you have got the clarity ki okay we have to cover this kind of report this kind of scheme and this kind of initiative so now you have now i will be telling you about the sources okay what sources you can follow to cover all this ard current affair so students pib is the prime source okay i would say pib is the should be your prime source for covering all the schemes all the news related to schemes all the reports that are released by national bodies okay so that should be your prime source or uh, all the initiative that has been taken by government you can cover all this thing through pib okay pib is a very good source you can cover it from there now if there is something which is not covered in pib what you can do you can read newspaper for that like if any report is released by international organization so that will be not covered in pib so what you can do you can just refer to the newspaper you can read newspaper and you will get all information in the newspaper then what else you have to do if there is any report which is which is released by particular ministry okay the what you can do then you can you have to go to that respective ministry site and you can download the report and you can just read that report if that is very important like livestock census is very important like handloom census is very important so what you have to do you will have to you have you can just go to the ministry website and just read all the data right then you, for the nabard report and bankable project report what you can do you can just go to the refer to the nabard site okay and also student krishi jagran is also one of the very good source because all the government initiative is covered by pib but the there are some private players who are taking some step uh, for the farmers okay they are doing any new technology they are inventing for the farmers or anything that up any private player is doing uh, for the welfare of farmers that is not covered by the pib okay and you what you can do that is covered by the krishi jagran and you can refer to the krishi jagran for such uh, such news okay so krishi jagran is also a very good uh, source for the for such type of information so that was all about the sources of your ard current affair now student now i hope you have got the clarity that what all you have to cover under ard current affair and from where you have to cover ard current affair so student that was all for this video and now i hope as in whole you have got the idea how to cover your ard for nabard grade examination so that was all from my side and if you are new to our channel please subscribe to our youtube channel and also if you want to download informative pdf for Na of nabard examination you can join us on our telegram channel so that was all students thank you thank you so much